Powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the Butte Fourth of July Parade on KXLF. Welcome to the Butte Annual Fourth of July Parade. My name is Kevin Stanfield from KXLF TV. We've got Missy O'Malley here. How you Good doing? morning. Yeah, bright sunny day. Stephanie Serini from the Butte Chamber of Commerce. Good morning. How are we doing? We're doing great. I'm excited about this. Glad to have you along for the parade as well. We've just got the honor guard going by our booth right now. So everybody's standing to show their respect for the American flag. What a fantastic day for a parade as well. Beautiful sunshine, blue skies. So just sit back and relax and enjoy the parade right now. We've got Chet Lehman down on the street, Chet. I'm going to send it down to you. Kevin, Missy, uh, Stephanie, you're not going to believe the energy down here has been great. These folks have been lined up here for over an hour waiting for this parade. You could not ask for better weather, so we got to give a shout out to Mike Hurd, uh, to Carson Vickroy, Matt Elwell for making the weather as uh, nice as it is here uh, today. Uh, without that, uh, yeah, it could be far worse. Uh, as you know, it could be raining, could be snowing instead. It's absolutely perfect. Civil Air Patrol and the uh, Color Guard presenting our colors, and this parade is underway, people. And so much excitement in the back. I was just in the midst of the parking lot where everybody's getting lined up and the kids are all excited. There's people crawling over every single float. There's a lot of <laughs> new floats added to the mix this year. And uh, the Butte Trolley, obviously one of our one of the heartthrobs of Butte, kicking off with one of our main floats coming down right now. I, I already have my favorite. I, w I went through in the parking lot and looked at all the different floats and I love classic cars. Uh, so I've already picked out my favorite, you know, I, I'm sure a lot of you sitting on the side of the road too have your favorite classic cars too. So what about you? Do you have a favorite? The Butte Trolley. The Trolley. Which right. is at the Butte Chamber of Commerce and it is one of the biggest attractions in Butte. Hey guys. And uh, so we do tours. I got a special guest here. Kate, tell me how the parade looks from the trolley. And well, seven days a week. Nice. All right, like we're going to sit back down to check. Away here and we hope we all have a marvelous 4th of July. Tell everybody happy Independence Day. Happy Independence. We're very independent in this town. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Enjoy the rest of the parade, Kate. Thank you very much. Back to you guys in the booth. So, Stephanie, the significance of the Butte Trolley again, how long it's, has this been around? It's old number one. This has been in existence since we've had the chamber, which we're celebrating our 108th year. But this trolley we've only had for about eight years. Okay. And it is one of our biggest attractions in Butte. We do three tours a day, seven days a week. It's an educational tour of historic Butte. So we are very excited to have it in the parade again this year. All right, we've got the next float right now, a tribute to Korean War veterans. Thank you very much. And following up right behind them is the vehicle for disabled veterans as well. So these guys have kind of buddied up together. And uh, the camaraderie between these two floats is, is unparalleled to most of the other floats that you'll see today. Absolutely. It's nice to see our veterans participating again this year. Good morning. Hey, good morning. <laughs> All right, and behind that, what's coming up there? Uh, Butte Silver Bowl Fire Department. It's the Boulevard Fire Department, and it's they do a lot in our community. They were up on the hill last night making certain that everything went well with the fireworks. They're doing a lot of volunteer even outside of their normal day-to-day uh, -day activities. So I we're gotta, very happy to have them. I got to tell you, last night for those fireworks, they were right on the dot. They told me 1031, and boom, they were right they there. They were. I was letting people know 1031 if they had a bet going because <laughs> it was a big deal as to when yeah, they were going to start. The, uh, racetrack volunteer fire department. Tell me about the, your organization. Then we have the racetrack uh, fire department. Volunteer organization that's uh, been in the city for quite some time. And um, you can keep driving. Okay. Drive, drive. It'll be good. <laughs> uh, what can I say? It's a great organization that helps out the community. You guys have been coming to this for a long time. Yes, we have. Um, the fire safety tra trailer that I'm towing behind us um, helps us. All right. Okay, so we're, we're having a little bit Glad of have audio you here, issues. Oh, we've got him back now. <laughs> I think we've got him back. Let, let me ask you about this, Stephanie. How long has this parade itself been going on? You know, I believe it, this is the 43rd year, I believe. Okay. We don't have the exact date, but... We're going to go with that. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, there it is. I don't know, if Chet, if you can get a shot of this. This is my favorite entry in the parade right here. This blue Dodge Dart. I think it's, it's a 68, a 16. Oh, gorgeous car right there. That is, that's the Kevin Stanfield favorite right there. I love it. It is a beautiful automobile. 
All right, Chet's going to talk to the I driver. Wrong with you. Tell me a little bit about this. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I got to find out what year that is because that is just a beautiful mo piece of Mopar there. All right, what do we got next? Missy, who we got next there in the, the old pickup truck? Do we know? Entry number six. The Spirit of Columbia Gardens, okay. I do believe. And um, this is kind of a fun hodgepodge we've got actually on, on the truck today. Bunch of different community members coming together. All right. We want to give a, before we go to a break, we want to give a shout out to Rocky Mountain RV and our good friend Nathan Hubbard for providing the RV for our, our crew, our studio crew today. We're going to take a quick break here with the Butte 4th of July Parade in downtown Butte right here on KXLF. Right here on KXLF, I'm Kevin Stanfield. I'm joined by Missy O'Malley on my left, and on my right, Stephanie Serini with the Butte Chamber, Chamber of, of Commerce. Commerce. All Absolutely. right. Absolutely. We've got we've got uh, an interesting little uh, entry over here. You've heard about the guitar guy in downtown New York in Manhattan in yes. Times Square. I'm not saying that he's that, but something similar maybe. With the with the cape and everything. Uh, and the I think I think he's got his own thing going on. I think he's got his, his butte style going on for sure. He's having a good time. Yep, there's no doubt about that. And of course, they are promoting the Wild West Music Fest. This is a brand new festival taking place because of the loss of Evil Knievel days. Stephanie, correct me if I'm wrong on this. Matt Boyle, our parade organizer, said, "Hey." we could fill the gap in some way possible. So they've moved it to the Copper King ballrooms, which is also something kind of new for Butte, that it's not outdoors. And so that way, rain, shine, if it's way too hot, it's, it's a foolproof festival, which is actually real fabulous. So, of course, they're advertising that as well. The newly renovated Copper King, which is just fantastic. Beautiful, beautiful I agree. hotel. Wonderful move there. And then they're followed up right behind that, the Baghdad Patrol. This is a fun group. A lot of people in costumes, people dancing, having a great time with this one as well. Um, having, uh, br bringing the costumes to the party, to the community events. And, of course, the kids love it, maybe just as much as the adults do. All right. Speaking of uh, the adults here, we've got a band coming up next. It looks like. There we go. Yeah, this is the Butte Community High Band. Who have we got there in the, in the truck? So this is, uh, cruising by us right now, this is the Butte Community Band. So as you notice, a couple of different ages, handful of different instruments, 
and everybody's having a good time. And then we got a dance team following here. This is the Project Safe School Butte. Stay tuned. We got some uh, dance dancers in there, some cheerleaders as well. Again, <laughs> oh these I gals, love, these give gals. Us, give us a wave, the little the little baby in the truck in the truck there. Adorable. Oh, adorable. Yeah. These girls have been actually getting the rest of the floats fired up this morning. I was hanging out with them for a little bit. They've got a couple of uh, more risque cheers, and then they've got your real classics as well. <laughs> All right, there's a very familiar sight, as you can see right there. Uh, Missy, what Our is Cakes that? Our Cakes LF building, what of is course, that? of course. Now, what's really fun about this, last year for the parade, we had this little floaty custom built. Yeah. Or custom, custom made, I should say, to obviously give quite the replica of the Cakes LF building. Now, is this a bouncy house? You'd think. <laughs> you'd think. Um, there is no way to get in it, although I'd love to see John, Amy, and Chet Lehman try. Yeah. I would love to yeah. see that. I would love to see that. All right. Shout out to Kenny for driving. There you go. A fabulous Cakes LF building. Yes. One, two, three. John, can you hear me? All right. Very good. And Chet Lehman, speaking of the Mr. Man himself, out on the streets, kind of a cross between heckling, stealing people's candy, and then finding out a little bit more about these parades and floats themselves. And this next float actually is making me incredibly hungry. Hot dogs and apple pies alike. Look at how creative this, pie, this apple pie is. So this is all things American. Baseball, yes. apple pie, and hot dogs. And, of course, it's the Butte GM Auto Center. So the, they said, hey, we're... Chet is actually standing right in front of him right now. Uh, how warm is it in that costume this morning? <laughs> so far, it's not so bad. You're supposed to say it's hot. It's hot. It's like a hot. dog hot. Yeah, it's hot in this hot dog. That's perfect. <laughs> it is hot. Enjoy the rest of the parade. All right, thanks. <laughs> not every day that anyone can talk to a hot dog. No, that's right. You and know? he's actually been rocking that hot dog costume all morning <laughs> as they were getting, you know, the tape on the side of the floats and everything else, which is great. All right, we will be right back with more coverage of the KXLF Butte Downtown 4th of July Parade. We'll be right back. Stick around. Welcome back to the KXLF Butte Downtown 4th of July Parade. I'm joined, and my name is Kevin Stanfield, joined by Stephanie Serini from the Butte Chamber of Commerce and my co-anchor here, Missy O'Malley. Good morning to you all. Happy 4th of July. Glad to have you all along for our Independence Day. We want to give a quick shout-out to our parade sponsors this morning. First of all, Northwestern Energy, Butte Central, Horizon Credit Union. Thank you to all of you, and, of course, Rocky Mountain RV. 
Taking a look at what's happening right now on our parade route, we've got our Butte Family YMCA, and this is kind of a fun deal. They have the adults walking in front and the kids on the bus because the kids have some programs later on today, so they wanted to save and conserve their energy <laughs> so that way the kids weren't too played out by the time the parade was over. Um, they've got a fun event coming up actually at the end of August. It's the Adults and Kids Triathlon, and uh, they're getting the word out on the street about that, so everybody is welcome to sign up and participate in that as well. All right. Then, of course, uh, another next float, float coming down the road there. Off the top roofing. And then over the top. Yep. Over, over the, the top. top. Yep. Over the top roofing. And then this semi truck here, barely making the corner there. Now, Kevin, one thing I'd love to add about over the top right oh, now, okay. they said by the time the parade route is over, they're going to finish roofing. Oh, I can see they're actually oh, Yeah, they're doing the it. They're doing it as they're coming along. They said, hey. We're going to show you guys how well we work together and how quickly we can get this done. All right, so right now, just the shingles and all that. Just All right. Right now, the semi-truck coming down the road, 125 years. I love these ladies. These are the fine we'll line you, okay? dancers. And uh, these gals will do... They do beginner classes, in which are they're going to start again in the fall in September. Are we talking boot scoot and boogie? Oh, you're talking boot scoot and boogie, Kevin. There's no doubt about it. And this is DJ Anything, and he will play anything. His <laughs> name is Mark Johnson. I like that. And uh, if you want to join them, they're starting classes in the uh, in the fall in September for Tuesdays. And other than that, they'll do a couple of different classes throughout the rest of the year. But they're trying to encourage anybody that wants to join in to get in on it this fall, starting in September. All right, this next float coming along, there's a story behind this one, and I know Chet Lehman's trying to track him down. It yeah, says, Remembrance of Larry Jager. Chet, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. if You can't see it, but uh, tell me a little bit. As we Just keep rolling here. Tell me a little bit about uh, in memory of Larry Jager. Larry Jager was a legend in his time, and we love him, and we want to honor him with his truck and trailer and logs that he had turned. What's his line? Tell me his line before we sign off. What can we say? His line, what do you think of me now? What do you think of me now in honor of their friend? Uh, I love that. Uh, bringing the parade to him in his honor. You see the log truck that uh, belonged to him up and down the road. Uh, and they are honoring their friend right now. All right. Continuing now with the Butte Fourth of July celebration parade here. Uh, Stephanie, what do we know about this one? Butte Silverbow. Oh, I believe this is our Council of Commissioners. Yep, okay. it is. Yep. Float. And so what they did, they have the kids out. We've got an Elvis impersonator. Um, <laughs> we've got a Thank little you. little kind of Cleopatra-looking gal. And uh, they are mimicking our commissioners. I love it. Isn't that adorable? And I got to say, that's one of the best floats so far that we've seen. That's a gorgeous it's, float. It's absolutely really that's well done. That's beautiful. Featuring the head frame. Tell us a little bit how significant, I mean, the head frame icon, it's iconic here in Butte. It is iconic, and it's absolutely something that makes Butte stand out in the community and around the state of Montana. When they see a head frame, they know it's Butte. And it's, you know, we have several tours where you can go underground the mines uh, through the mining museum. They have them. Um, you can take a walk up on the top of the world walking path where you can go up by the mountain con, and you can see one of them where it's a mile high, mile deep, and you can understand why, you know, Butte has the incredible history that it does with mining and up next uh, for district court judge robert j whalen I, I gotta say they have probably over 50 people walking Look with at. them today i love it you know bob's a attorney here in town he's been in private practice for a long time he's a great guy and he certainly has his supporters out very strong today all right, we are giving you uh, coverage of the Butte 4th of July Parade, downtown Butte here on KXLF. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with more coverage.
Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy 4th of July to, to you. We are right in front of the Butte Civic Center on Harrison Avenue for the 4th of July parade. We've had uh, about a handful of them go through so far, just kicking things off. I'm Missy O'Malley with Kevin Stanfield and Stephanie Serini. Local Butte legend Stephanie Serini with us today. She's kind of our, our wealth of knowledge because she knows pretty much every single person in the parade, probably has watched some of them grow up. Works with a handful of them as well. Absolutely, Stephanie, the Butte Parade for you is quite a special time because it's when everybody takes a step away from work, enjoys a little bit of what's going on. And uh, this next one Thank is you. no lack of fun. Thank you very much. Absolutely. That's right. Yeah, so this is another one of Northwestern Energy's float. And they are have uh, Elvis on there. I love it. With Jailhouse Rock. Absolutely. And again, us utilizing the kids, utilizing the youth, to really make the float extra fun. You know, that it really brings in all the extra excitement as well. <laughs> and Chet Lehman's actually talking with a couple of them now. Let's toss it over to Chet. Come, you aren't dancing. Those are my kids, so I, I <laughs> pass it on a generation. Bust a move for me right here, Josh. Oh, there he goes. There we go, Josh Peck. Beautiful, I love that. And like Elvis said, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. TCB. <laughs> Thank you very much. And our next float is the Grit Martial Arts. These guys do Bra uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai kickboxing. The kids start as young as the age of four, and there is no cap. So right now, if we take a look at these guys, they've got a couple of their instructors out, and the kids are kind of taking turns beating up the instructors, <laughs> so to speak. And when I was asking them about why is it Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai kickboxing, and actually the, the coach right there with the ginger beard, he said, they're the two most effective types of martial arts. Effective in what way? I effective mean, where you're not really producing too much injury, but it's a lot of self-defense. Yeah. And it's um, it's a it's a great healthy way of some exercise as well. So it's All a right. great Excellent. great way to start with kids as well. Excellent. You you are watching coverage of the annual Fourth of July parade in downtown Butte, right here on KXLF Radio. Uh, KX left TV. We are TV. The last time I checked. Yeah. And right now, there's no like, there's no shortage of dancing in Butte. Obviously, we know Butte is a, is a city that likes to have a good time. We've already seen some line dancers, and Chet has another set of line dancers lined up for us right now. Chet? Uh, actually, I'm uh, with the parade route here. You can't see her through the truck, but uh, uh, one of my young fans has been watching this all along. What do you think of the parade so far? Good. What's your favorite part so far? Um, like the cowboy parts. I love the horses too. Uh, what else have you liked? Um, like all of the people walking up front before like the floats came. I love that too. What's your name? Evie. Evie, my friend Evie, uh, doing the play-by-play -play for the parade over there. Kevin, Missy, you guys are out of a job. It's Evie going to take it from now on. <laughs> All right. I believe it, too. Thank you, Chet. She's adorable. I like her little top hat that she's got rocking right there now, too. That's great. And one of the interviews we did this morning on the morning show was with uh, Recreational Forester. And, Stephanie, I know you know Jocelyn Dodge. She is the woman in town that wants to get everybody out on the trails. And so uh, we actually did the interview right at the, the head of uh, Mod S Canyon. And um, th what they've been doing for beautification on the trail system is just incredible. Jocelyn's absolutely amazing. Her whole goal is to get people out. And she has several different hiking clubs. So you can hike Thompson Park. You can do Mod S, Continental Divide Trail. She's very instrumental in Butte, getting people outdoors and letting them really experience what's in our backyard. And there's some great interactive maps, too. So if you're not too familiar with the trail system, uh, there's a lot of ways to log online and... Um, figure out where you want to go. Absolutely. You can come to the chamber. We have quite a few maps that we distribute quite a few every day. There's a lot of people that come into Butte because of our trails. And so we're lucky to have someone like Jocelyn that really does promote them and support them. Because after all, they really do call Butte the Moab of Montana. Absolutely. Yeah. And people are discovering it more and more, whether they're out there biking or they're hiking. Uh, Butte is just becoming, you can go to a trailhead and see cars from all over Montana. It's really, it's, uh, it was a well-hidden gym and now people are Not discovering so much. It more and more. Yeah, absolutely. More and more. Well, we got a little bit of a hold up here with our 4-H club, and you can see um, different age groups all out on their horses right now. Well, they're, they're, they're fully contained. You've got the pooper scooper there along following behind. 
I thought that was Chet. No? <laughs> no? Okay, that's not Chet. <laughs> we do have to take a short break. We're back in just a moment with more of your 4th of July coverage right here on KXLF TV. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. It is 4th of July right here in Butte, America. And what better way to celebrate it than with our downtown parade right on Harrison Avenue. And Missy O'Malley with Kevin Stanfield and Stephanie Serini. And we are enjoying ourselves. The weather could not be more perfect. Oh, perfect. A Beautiful. little bit of a brisk start, but there's a perfect way to set up for a wonderful day. All right, uh, a quick shout out to our parade sponsors today, Northwestern Energy. We want to thank Butte Central and Horizon Credit Union as well. All right, they, now these coming down right there. I mean, they've got it made with the with the patio furniture. I'm thinking this is not a this is a walk through the park, so to speak, for them. Throwing out who is that? D Motors. D Motors. D -Motors, D -Motors. Yeah, out of uh, Anaconda. A little uh, something you may not realize that patio furniture on the back of that flatbed is going to be given away later on in the parade, oh, guys. Really? So yeah, I'm going to go try some of it out. You guys uh, keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to go try out a chair. <laughs> He, There's one left for you, Chet. Yeah. There's one left for you. I think they were waiting for him. That's fabulous. Nice. There he, uh, and he just kind of slips right in there. Of course he does. Yeah. He's good at that. Is your chair more comfortable than mine? that's what he does. Is your chair more comfortable than mine? No. <laughs> this fire isn't very warm. Because it's fake. <laughs> it, oh, it's fake fire. No wonder it's not. I'm going to go try out my other chair over here. You having a good time? Sure. 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 <laughs> sure. Yeah. That's, that's a woman after my own heart. A woman, a few words right there. I'm gonna warm my hands by the fire. It's beautiful up here, folks. Yeah, it's lovely. Well, that might be the last we see of Chet Lehman today. Yeah. He's probably gonna take it. If nap. they had no? snacks, I think he, I think we would have lost him. I don't I know agree. if they have snacks on the float. Now, this is a, one thing I really love to mention about the Montana Standard. With the recent shooting in Annapolis, Maryland, um, what their whole mission today is to pay homage to the victims and also the survivors um, that happened at that newspaper in Maryland just last week. And they say, you know, we're out here doing our job just like we do at KXLF and just like you do at the Chamber every day, trying to do your job, bring what's important to your community. And so there, it's a little bit more of a somber and sobering float right there. But uh, I think it's very pertinent that we mention what their their goal is sure, today. it's pretty absolutely. powerful yep they also are doing a big relay for life september 23rd they wanted to get the word out about that one as well so relay for life oh and here we go chet layman back to you on the street ladies how's the parade so far good. what's your favorite part um that i get to walk when the judges watch me that's perfect thanks for being here 
They get a walk when the judges are watching them. That's the best <laughs> part of the parade. You knew it, I knew it too. <laughs> All right, what, what is this gentleman on the bicycle doing, I'm wondering? Right behind the bus there, right there. Bubbles. I oh, he's the bubble bubbles. man. It is. It's is the that the Lawrence New Welk? Lawrence Welk. That's yeah. exactly who that is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to try to get him a little closer here. I'm going to see if I can catch you a bubble, Kevin. I'll bring it up to you. Would you please? Yeah, I'll see Thank what I you. can do. Yes. If I remember right about bubbles, I usually end up with most of them in my eye. And wonderful, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank yeah. you very much. And coming up right now, the Republicans for Butte Silverboat County. You can notice a handful of different political signs. Of course, with a big Republican elephant as well. All right, now we've got, uh, what is this? We've got another band coming along here. Yates. Oh, is this, is this, this our... Is Yates uh, Auto Body. Yates Auto Body Shop. There you go. This is a little bit more of a band. I feel like this is uh, kind of almost like a, a honky tonk. We got we've got a violin. We've got the guys rocking out of the trap set. <laughs> the Berkeley Beach Band. I am Berkeley not, Beach Berkeley, Band. Thank Berkeley, you. Berkeley Beach Band. Yeah, I don't even want to know what uh, formed that band for them. Yeah. Fantastic. And a lot of energy your this morning. Bobcat skid steer there. Is that a skid? Is that what they call a skid steer? That I'm is. Not sure. And then the the old timey bicycle rider. I can't. Come remember. on over here. I can't remember what they're called. Oh, this wow. is a penny farthing, by the way. Tell me about your bike. Oh, it's 1898 replica and riding it 23 years. Well, it, a little harder than a regular bike. Yes, no brakes. Who are you representing today? Uh, Wizard Works. Wizard Works on your penny farthing. Yeah. Thank All right. You. Uh, my friend Kevin wants to know if he could take a ride later. Oh, sure. Can we do he that? Said, yeah, he said, sure, Kevin. Come on. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm all about that. <laughs> now, these guys might be one of our loudest floats. Uh, this is our Butte Central High pet band. And they're covering things of like different songs that you might hear on the radio and things like this. Maybe we'll just even take a listen from a uh, Chet's Rocking Out. Oh, there goes Chet. <laughs> Love it. A little panic at the disco. That's exactly right. <laughs> there you go, Chet. They're fantastic. I've had a chance to listen to them over a lot of years in sports. They are the pet band for Butte uh, Central High School, and they do perform all over. Great music. The old radio guys love it. That would be me. <laughs> That's you. That's you. Let's get moving and labor services. At some point, you're going to need these guys. I think uh, we, yes. need, we need a little more red, white, and blue on this next float Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. A little bit more patriotic yeah. colors going on here. No, that's great. Cute kids there on that float. And they are followed up by our hockey team. And this is so great. Ages 4 through 18, the this Copper City Kings. This is a hockey Kings. team? Yep. Followed up right behind him. Yep. Holy moly. Oh, Come right over here. Come and, right over here. I got the a... Cobra's ages 16 through 20. And Chet's chatting with some oh, of the little oh, guys. What's now. your name, my friend? Mason. And you? Bryden. And you? Tucker. And you? Billy. All right, guys. Uh, you're a member of which team? View Copper Kings. You love hockey? Yes. What do you love about hockey? Making goals. Making <laughs> goals. That's the best thing about hockey. You guys keep skating with your group. Thanks for joining us. I love that. Making goals. <laughs> making goals. There's nothing better than hockey making goals. <laughs> <laughs> that's the fabulous. Butte Amateur Hockey Association coming up next. Yeah, that's these guys that we were just chatting with okay. up front. Yep. So many different ages and, of course, so many different families getting involved, especially when it comes to housing the Cobras. So that's the, our amateur team here in Butte. And so a lot of times these kids come in from around the country on these different scholarships, and then they get to live with different families in the Butte area, which is fantastic. All right, this next float right here coming up with all the guys in the black belts. Yes, our Rocky Mountain Martial Arts Group. We got some yellow belts out there giving us some patterns. And with that, it is time for a quick break. We are live on Harrison Avenue for the 4th of July Parade. We're back in just a moment. Stay with us.
Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Happy Independence Day to you and yours. We're so glad you are joining us for the live coverage of the Downtown Butte Parade happening right here on Harrison Avenue. And of course, Chet is with his favorite girls of the whole parade. <laughs> We're going to toss it out to the Roller Girls right now, Chet. Ladies, tell me who you are. We're the Copper City Queens. Copper City Queens. Tell roller me a little derby. bit about Roller Derby. It's awesome. Come play. Come watch us. Come what's, watch what's the best thing about Roller Derby? <laughs> The elbows. <laughs> the the elbows. elbows. That's that's the same thing we say up on the desk. It's the elbows. I might get kicked out for that. <laughs> <laughs> Copper City Queens. Now, they are tough as they come. Chet, correct me if I'm wrong. Last year, they made you skate with them for a little bit, and they almost took you away with them. That is a fact. Yeah. I, I'm honorary <laughs> member of that right there because it's the elbows. Uh. We need to give a quick shout out to Rocky Mountain RV today for providing the uh, wonderful RV for the KXLF crew. So thank you very much to Nathan Hubbard and crew there at Rocky Mountain RV. Oh, coming up, wow, this is a boisterous bunch. John Tester up for re-election for Senate this year. Wow, look at his contingency he has today. Uh, so we, can you guys see who's in the tractor behind there driving that? Uh, of course, it's John Tester himself. I don't know if he's ever done this before. I'm going to see if I can get a hold of now, Chet tried to get with him uh, with the St. Patrick's Day parade as well, and he actually was able to jump up on the tractor. Let's see what happens. Have you ever done this before, <laughs> Senator? I've done it a couple times, but uh, <laughs> never driven a Ford 5000 in a 4th of July parade in Butte. This is the first time. Fantastic. Not your first time in the parade, though. Not the first time in a parade and not the first time driving a tractor in a parade, but I used to have one just like this. So, Fantastic. Good, good to see you, Senator. Thank you. And following John Tester, we've got the Kathleen Williams float there. So this is our little Democratic contingency, and Kathleen yeah. came up from Bozeman this morning. Uh, she also brought with her a handful of people. They're handing out balloons to the crowd. They've been getting people all sorts of pepped up. She um, just won, got the Democratic nod to run against incumbent Greg Gianforte in the fall with his special election when he took place of Ryan Zinke last May. So there's Kathleen with her patriotic top hat and walking with her dog. She's very excited to be in Butte this morning. Oh, Chet's getting flagged down. <laughs> Chet's getting flagged down. I can't believe they're letting Mari Messenger drive this oh, truck. Oh, how are you, kid? I'm good. How are you? Well, Mari, one of the uh, workers for Kathleen Williams. Uh, yeah. Great primary election. Yeah. Uh, you're ready to roll for the general. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. We're uh, going to remove that seat warmer, and we're going to put a real representative there. So. There you go. Mari Messenger driving the trailer. If you had any idea how dangerous that is, I'd have to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that is unbelievable. <laughs> Now, coming up, this has to be maybe one of my favorite personal floats today. This is our dyslexic honky-tonk group of Butte. <laughs> now, they call themselves that because these guys could seriously play these instruments backwards. They and probably that's what have. I, that's what they probably have, right? And most of the time, you notice on floats, people are facing the other way. Mm -hmm. But this is the way you get to see people, is if you face the other way. So these guys got okay. it all figured out. Good morning. Little Saints go marching in. And if I could, I'm going to give a little plug right now to the Folk Festival. Um, obviously, Stephanie, and I'm sure you can jump on with this. This is maybe one of Butte's biggest festivals. It is. It takes place um, July 13th, 14th, 15th. And talking to George Everett, actually, we interviewed him on the morning show today. He's saying one of his things that he's most looking forward to, they are bringing in a New Orleans marching band to kick things off for the start of the Friday night wow. right at the head frame. Truly, it's going to be absolutely amazing what George has done over the years and has grown this festival. You know, it's a free festival for all, and it's a time where Butte really does shine. Our hotels are booked up, our, you know, rental cars are taken, the flights are booked. It's really a wonderful experience to come for the Folk Festival, you know, especially because it is a free event. It is, and the vendors and the food alone, even if you aren't the biggest music person or dancer, uh, the, and they've got a whole different section of different Native American vendors as well this year. So it's going to be a really fabulous. That's the 13th, 14th, 15th, just right up the road. Oh, now these girls too. Love these gals and guys. This is Golden 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 Gloves and Pink Gloves Boxing. And this is actually a really fun group to get involved in. I, I just can toss it to Chick because I have a feeling he's about to get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> just go right ahead. You just keep swinging this. I want to get some shots of this when you go right here. <laughs> So we've got all the self-defense uh, self classes covered in the parade. This She's morning. pretty tight. You know what? I'm not messing with her. We're going to hire her for my crowd control right here. That's awesome. 
Fantastic organization uh, for young people here in the Butte area. They've done very well in statewide and regional competitions as well. As a matter of fact, one of our old uh, floor directors on the morning show was involved in pink glove blocking, Jessica Christensen. That's Chet remembers correct. her That's well. That's correct. She had a mean right, I tell you what. <laughs> she really That's did. A, when she said take camera one, she meant it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now this float, I have to mention why this is so special. The hot air balloon, which of course you can see from right up and down the street, this is the springs at Butte, and they have some of their residents from the home on the, the parade float as well. But the reason why they did the hot air balloon is because a couple of years ago, they took one of their residents up in a hot air balloon ride and she can't stop talking about it. So they said, okay, that's the theme this year. Wow. So they did everything with hot air balloon this have year. Have you ever been in a hot air balloon? I have, only yeah. once. Yeah, isn't that the strangest sensation? It really is. It is gorgeous, well, especially beautiful view. Especially in the Butte Silver Bow Valley area, what a great way to oversee yeah. the whole area. It's just incredible. If you ever okay. have a chance to take a hot air balloon ride, do it, it's just phenomenal. Yep. No doubt about it. And up next, oh, Chet, yeah, Chet's back on the street. Let's start with I Chet. got a little friend with me right here. What's your name, my friend? Noah. Noah? You enjoying the parade? How old are you, Noah? I, I think it's three. I haven't done very well in counting. That's how I ended up in television. <laughs> What's your favorite part so far, Noah? Everything. He has never taken his eyes off the parade route the whole time. Thank you for talking to me, Noah. The young man never has taken his eyes off, <laughs> even when I was talking to him. Wants no part of the TV guy. Just get out of my way so I can watch the parade Chet, go Chet, I want to mention really quick before this uh, World Museum goes by, today at 2.30 they're doing a special tour. So if you haven't got a chance to take it or you're in town from out of town, take the tour. It's a special one today at 2.30. But they normally do those tours, <laughs> uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Stephanie, Tuesdays and Thursdays? That's correct. Or Tuesdays and Fridays. <laughs> You know, they just started them. I mm -hmm. believe it's Tuesday and Thursdays, but gotcha. they may have changed it to Friday. And for people who don't know what a head frame is, give us a little background on that. Well, the head frames are where the miners would go, um, you know, we know we're a mile high and a mile deep. Sure. So they'd go down a mile deep and they'd take the donkeys and they'd do the underground mining. So we have several of them throughout the town and they're starting to do different tours at different ones. So you can take the kids and go down a go down that shaft into where the mines you actually can. were. Amazing. Up next, this is Deb Martin Young. She calls her flag. First of all, she's turning 60 on Saturday. So her kids said, Mom, we've got you a float for the 4th of July. And guess who ended up doing all the work? That was Mom. That was Deb. <laughs> and uh, it's Happy called birthday. Flags, Fireworks, and Fun. And it looks like they are, look at the fireworks that they got on the back. They're nice. ready for a good time. They're going to light those off at any moment over here. Watch out, Jen. I know, I, I'm going to duck here <laughs> as we do that. There is nothing on that float that isn't red, white, and or blue. But, Chet, where's the birthday cake? We need a 60th birthday uh, cake on that No, float. that's a good idea. We'll yeah. have to see if we can round that up here. <laughs> Got our soccer teams coming through here right now, sending out poppers. Ooh. Come right Watch here. Watch out, Chet. Come right here. Mining City FC, tell me who you are. Aurora Kemper. And what is Mining City FC? Mining City FC is a football club that um, a lot of people come in together. And your friends are helping you out so well, aren't they? Yeah. Thanks. What's the best part about this sport? Um, it's the teamwork and friendship that you uh, make along the way. It's absolutely amazing. I'm going to tell you nothing else in sports matters than that right there. Teamwork and friendship. Mining City FC, good group right there. Good group of young people. Chet, I'm still sore from our soccer game last night. <laughs> and Jeez. I heard you won finally. No, we didn't. We oh, lost no, yeah. five to three. Thanks for rubbing it in. <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah. More soccer. I love this. What a great group of kids. There oh, are we got the goalie on the a bus, A number too. of uh, young groups uh, ranging in age from the very youngest, eight years old, all the way up to high school for this group. They compete all over the region again in uh, soccer. Just have a blast. Football reminds you it's football, not soccer here. Chet, this is your time to shine. Here's our Mining City Dance Company, and I know Chet's been waiting for a minute. We've Bust got a rocking jukebox. The girls uh, got their poodle skirts and their tutus on. I had asked them earlier if they had a tutu for me, and they said, we have nothing in your ego size. <laughs> Wow. I don't ah. quite know how to take that, but uh. we'll find out here. I'm going to see if I can bust a little move with him here. Let's see what you got, Chet. All right. Ooh, right in time for the hand shot, Chet. Oh. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> He's sticking out like a How sore does he, thumb. How does he well, know those there moves? You go. 
I don't. Little known fact: Olivia Newton-John had a huge crush on me back a in the seventies. Little 70s. Yeah. known fact: yeah, we've you heard and that John before. Travolta. Yeah, we yeah, we, yeah. we would have dated if she had actually ever met me. Yeah, that's right. We've All right, we're going to take a quick break here. You're watching coverage of the Butte Downtown Fourth of July Parade right here on KXLF. Good morning, and thank you for joining us. Happy 4th of July to you and yours. I'm you Missy O'Malley with Kevin Stanfield and Stephanie Serini. We are right on Harrison Avenue, right in front of the Butte Civic Center. We've got a prime view of the parade. Chet was just doing a little bit of the hand jive uh, with our Mining City Dance Club. And now he's actually right still on the street with the, with the convertible. Chet, what do you have? Working on a deal, see if we can switch positions. Straight oh. across. You dri I'll drive, you, you talk. I'm pretty good. I uh, kind of got a little attached to the car. Oh, see, I, <laughs> he told me once upon a time he was going to let me borrow that car for a year. For a year? Well, yeah, that, that, we hadn't worked on the full contract negotiations. <laughs> All that uh, float being brought to you by Lysak Tire here in uh, Butte. Uh, they've been a part of this parade for a very, very very long time back when the tires were made of solid rubber chet he's giving your mustache a run for its money well and it, i tried for years to see if uh, management would go for those kind of hats for us on the uh, morning show but we could <laughs> never get them to go no something about shadows or something i don't remember what it was district court judge sam cox wow look at this following sam has with him today it's interesting to see a lot of these political uh, floats and entries in the parade. How often? How many do we have? I think we have six this year. Six. Okay. Yes. And <clears throat> Sam's son works at our Chamber of Commerce. He's a cool kid, and he has a big family in Butte, so you can understand why he has a large following ah, today. Ah, the Butte connection. Yes. Now, one thing I'd love to mention right here. Up next is from Prosser, Washington. This might be one of our, one of our furthest traveled floats. Look at these gals. So they all ran for royalty, and they had were based on things like talent and fitness and poise, and they had to answer questions. And they do everything um, local in the community, like ribbon cuttings and this and that but these gals are simply thrilled to be in butte america they've heard a lot about the parade but look at this float they said it's their homage to dr seuss um, yeah, i don't know if you can see who's the driving. journey that they're on it's i can't dr. see the driver dr seuss is actually driving it it's the cat in the hat behind the wheel and behind there so fabulous and they've got the dance moves going that float there. is absolutely yeah. gorgeous rocking to some justin timberlake who's playing, ironically, in Paris for the 4th yeah. of July tonight. So you have you to admire uh, Rex Renner and his uh, campaign uh, for clerk of the uh, Supreme Court. Rex Renner brings the T-Rex ah, to monitor for that. Yes. you gotta, you got to give a shout-out to that as well. Good morning, Good Rex. Good morning, Rex. I <laughs> and another classic car there, the 57 Bel Air. Nice. Sweet. 
And it sounds beautiful down here too, Kevin. Yeah. That, that thing is purring like a kitten right nice. now. Yeah, that's beautiful. And that's from First Citizens Bank. Love Kids that. riding in the back. Beautiful. Beautiful. I like how they even have the bows on the wheels. That's great. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's, that's an extra <laughs> That's attention touch. to detail. No yeah. doubt about it. Uh, this is uh, Ben Pezdarka, Justice of the Peace candidate, uh, driving through now. That was uh, him pushing the little stroller in the front there. I'm not sure who this is, Missy. I missed this one coming through. This is our Halloween oh. LLC. Gotcha. Yep. Our Butte Halloween LLC. So if I'm not mistaken, we had Jack Skellington as a part of this. But at least when I was walking around the parking lot this morning, I yeah. saw Jack Skellington from Nightmare Before Christmas. Just get, you can never be too soon to get ready for Halloween. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm looking, and we're already thinking about Halloween. I was All Chet right. Lehman for Halloween there last year. There he is. There he is. Oh, Jack there's is Jack there. The Handing yeah. out candy, of course. I, I wouldn't recommend keeping your jack-o'-lantern around to the 4th of July parade, however. Probably Only a few not. people can get away with that. Denny Menholt, big supporter of the community. Let me hear it. Loves coming out. Ooh, here we go. Let me hear it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, man. baby. <laughs> Smoking out the crowd. I love it. That is outstanding right there. High fives all around. That's, uh, <laughs> that's beautiful. All right, we're going to take a quick break here, and we'll be right back with more coverage of the Butte Downtown Parade right here on KXLF. Good morning and thank you for joining us. We've made it to our tail end of our last little bit of home stretch for the Butte Parade. We are on Harrison Avenue in front of the Civic Center. I'm Missy O'Malley joined by Kevin Stanfield and Stephanie Serini. And uh, Chet, ooh, he's rocking out right now with the dance core. Chet. T tell me about dance core if you can. Who is dance core? Who are you? Hallie McClay. And what is your group? Dance core. What do you do? Dance. To the core. <laughs> yep. That's perfect. Go dance with your group. I don't want you to get lost down there. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we dance. What are you asking me that question for, Mr. Reporter? Yeah, there you go. By the way, that Harrington car going by there, that's a reminiscent of our producer's uh, generation right there. John Shearer's car wow. going by right there. Oh, yeah. there it is. But um, bump. Oh, he takes hey, a quick jab. shout out to our parade sponsors today <laughs> Northwestern Energy, Butte Central, Horizon Credit Union, and Rocky Mountain RV. Thank you to all of you. I'm going to have to go catch up with that old car now. I just heard in my ear from John that I'm walking home. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. See if I can go catch a ride with them. And also, a nice little reminder to stay hydrated. The temperature's a little cool right now, but the, we're about to be getting a heat wave throughout all of southwestern right. Montana. So yeah. a nice little reminder to be drinking your water today, especially if you're going to last to more fireworks happening tonight. Rocking your world for doing? three generations. What? Come here. Over here. Uh, this is one of my fans. I've been told that they love me. <laughs> Why? We watch him every morning. He's great. Well, you do. You're, Missy. You're great together. There you go. Yeah. Well, Missy's sitting over there. You tell her hi, too. Perfect. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Shop at Keenan Jewelers. Shop at Keenan Jewelers. <laughs> <laughs> but a um, great segment. little yeah. plug. That's yeah. segment brought to you by Keenan Jewelers, by the way. I want to get go. a shout out to the one person in the stadium that loves me. That's awesome. Schaefer District 2 Council of Commissioners passing by Chet right now on the street. Again, big big groups of people coming out today for people running up for office. This is fantastic. Who we got here in the orange pickup? Who is this? Is this the Cake Whispers? 
I believe really? I believe that's who it is, Missy. Cake Yummy. Whisper. Yeah, that's uh, what I do when I eat cake. We whisper and pretend you never no, saw me do no, it. No, what you do is you're gonna jump out of this cake. <laughs> is what Chet's gonna do. Ah, uh, that was uh, before my last contract I signed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a little throw to uh, New Orleans here. We've got the colors of Louisiana. Anybody in there? Anybody in the cake? No, nobody's in the. Okay, well, I just checked. They're There's nobody for in the you, cake. Chet. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. They're <laughs> waiting for you to do it. <laughs> You can have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> We're moving along to Montana Resources LLP. Ooh, look at this beautiful oh, lovely float. float. Yeah. We've been talking about this for a while. Some of the folks who put entries into this parade literally spend months designing them. Montana Resources, of course, a staple here in the mining city, and they have put an amazing amount of effort into this float, Missy, Kevin, Stephanie. This is just absolutely beautiful. And I don't know if you can see the beaver on there, too. Do you see that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now we've got a couple of different floats from Butte Toyota. We've got the little guy waving flags. Ooh, she's rocking out driving. I got the sound system pumping there. <laughs> I think he just sold a car. Yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> Doing very well here. All right. <laughs> Following them, we got, whoop. Butte America, beautiful. Butte America, beautiful. <laughs> Could not have said it better myself. That's awesome. And obviously, we've got some members of the military there, it looks like. I love that. When service members come through, Shout out people are the on their feet and yep. clapping and hands yep. over their heart. I love it. Uh, several of the young people on the far side giving the salute as well. Yeah. Nothing better than the dress uniforms. Love Absolutely. that. Absolutely. On the 4th of July, that's what it's all about. Followed right now by Butte Subaru. So Butte Toyota, Butte Subaru kind of piggybacking on top of each other here. Of course, you got more kids in the car waving their flags. Just keep going. Just keep going. You having fun back there? Yeah. Can you see the parade from here? Kind of. <laughs> Is it better to watch the parade or ride in it? Both. Both. Only a young lady would be able to give me that answer. Yes, riding in it and watching it. Both. This next entry looks like Berk uh, Berkshire Hathaway uh, Home Properties. It looks like a, a tiny home on there, right? One of those little tiny homes. We'll let you live in there, Chet. Yeah. <laughs> Use that as my first apartment, yeah. <laughs> Actually, my first apartment wasn't that big, and it certainly wasn't painted that well. A uh, little known fact, that uh, house is half full of purple balloons, by the way. That's there what's go. inside of there. <laughs> so coming up right now, an absolute classic, legendary spot to go to if you're ever hankering for a little something, and this is one of Chet's favorite spots. I don't think Chet would have made it out of living in Butte if it weren't for the M&M. &M. You have no idea. 1989, when I moved here, I lived in the Finland Hotel across from the Finland, and that's how I had breakfast. I had no car. I'd walk over $1.99 breakfast, and then I'd spend my Friday nights in the M&M, &M, well, for dinner and whatever. Yeah, sure. That was it. Yeah, that's yeah. how that yeah, went. You, you <laughs> stick with that story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was dinner, people. Dinner, 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 dinner. If you're looking for the best chicken fried steak, look no further oh my. than the M&M and &M in Butte. We've made it to our last couple of floats, believe it or not, here, ladies and gentlemen, for our 4th of July parade here on Harrison Avenue. Oh, Chet's having way too much fun out there. Perfect. <laughs> Running for district governor, or the district governor, excuse me, from Qantas, Montana. Town Pump making their way by now, one of the sponsors. What would we do without the Town Pump? Yeah, again, if it hadn't been for the M&M and the town pump, I would have starved. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's a fun float. I love that. Kevin, you remember those kind of gas pumps? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I'm dating myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't mention anything about the 1940 Chevrolet fuel truck going by, Kevin. Yeah, I'm not going to yeah. say a word about that. <laughs> In the Serbian Food Festival. That's August 4th, 11 a.m. It's an all-day running, running event at the Holy Trinity Orthodox Church. 
That's another thing we like to do in Butte, there's Stephanie. We love to eat. We is there food in there? And thank goodness that there's a lot of in festivals there? that revolve around eating. <laughs> yeah. And the Serbian <laughs> Food Festival, this is going to be their first year. It's on Continental Divide, and they're very excited to do this. And we're very excited to be able to participate in it. No doubt about it. We're excited to come eat. There's no doubt. We want to take a quick moment to thank our parade sponsors today, Northwestern Energy, Butte Central, Horizon Credit Union, and the fine folks at Rocky Mountain RV for providing our RV this morning. <laughs> That's the light car going by there. It tastes great less filling than a real car. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware of that or not. That's mm. how that's marketed right there, yeah. Spoonful of sugar. Uh, this is impressive. Of course, uh, the big buzz in Butte, of course, with the water park just opening and the carousel coming back to life. Stephanie, what can you tell us about the carousel? The carousel has been a project that they have been working on for many, many, many years. And they finally found their home at Staden Park, where the Washington Foundation donated quite a bit of money so that uh, this dream could be a reality of having the new pool for the kids of Butte and also the carousel ho is home there as well. And it will be opening in the next few days. And they've spent so much time on this. It's a treasure. $8.7 million, I believe. Wait till you see this wow. place. It's unbelievable. The park is just, it's very amazing. So what's your favorite part We went part a couple weeks ago for the grand opening. And it's something great for the Butte kids. <laughs> And honestly, not even just the kids, the amount of adults, well, of course, like taking the kiddos too. and this and that, but it is just so well done that everyone's really been enjoying it. Centerville Volunteers, Silver Bow Fire Department. Uh, Stephanie, correct me if I'm wrong. That group, uh, Centerville, has been in this parade for almost from the very beginning of it, if I'm not mistaken. Centerville has been a staple at the Butte Fourth of July Parade. Another, another tribute to Dr. Seuss. Oh, the places you will go. One I of think, my favorites. I think, I think every college graduate gets a copy of that book. What the heck? Are you the cat in the hat? Yeah. The fox in socks right there. That's not the cat in the hat. I can't tell the difference between Shit. a fox in socks and a cat in the hat. She's got socks on her hands. I could rhyme it, though. That's the answer. Well, see? That's, uh... Now, that's an old Trans Am. Yes, it is. Not yeah. that old. Not that old. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, that is the end of our parade this year. So many incredible floats, and we're so glad that you were joining us this morning. I'm Missy O'Malley with Kevin Stanfield and Stephanie Serini. Right in front of the Butte Civic Center on Harrison Avenue. What a beautiful morning it was. We hope you and yours have a very safe holiday. And, of course, we'll be back with you on the evening broadcast tonight on KXLF. All right. We'll see you guys tonight at 10 o'clock with uh, Patrice Parks. So thank you so much for joining us here on Thanks KXLF. Thanks for watching the beautiful Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us. On today. KXLF. You're watching KXLF, Montana's news leader.